I've seen the role of design change uh, significantly. It is more valued and that I think of those as something that informs almost everything about a business or an organization and that's become much more of a norm. So where design is today is at the pinnacle of what organizations need to do to compete. To get done what they need to get done, they need our help. And for many years, graphic designers have been saying, we need a place at the table, we need to be at the sea level. Well, now we are. But unfortunately, I think there's a lot of people sitting at that table that are not equipped. And one of those that's really critical that I cannot find adequate education for is leadership. How do you orchestrate other people? How do you orchestrate a creative process? How do you sell it to the marketing people, to the engineers? How do you sell that to the client? That's what we call design leadership. What we're doing is trying to develop their design skills and their thinking skills, as well as a deep research-based process that allows the design work that comes out of a thesis to be well-considered and deeply engaging, both for the viewer, but also for the student in the process. We bring in two or three real-life clients from the outside world, and they'll present an issue, and then it's up to the group of students to solve the problem. How's their product doing? Is their audience dying? What's going on? Those are the questions that have to be asked. If you're really going to do the job right, what's the point? Why should we care? The why maybe is a good component. Having that strategy or conceptual component where you're thinking about why you should even be doing that is a good way to like step back and maybe question what it is you're doing before you even start doing it for the sake of doing it. It may be about reorganizing the whole process of how the company works, but uh, that's where the design thinking is coming to. You have to really outline the problems of the brand, not just visually, but in a big aspect. So they don't give you the answers. They see what works and they see what doesn't work, and they just kind of push you towards there and hopefully you figure it out. If you get too comfortable in an idea, they'll call you on it. You can see that it's their process too in their own work to kind of push things and go there and the rhythm here is kind of pushing for more interesting things and everybody's striving for that here. I think because we all come from very different backgrounds, it allows us to have a really fresh perspective on graphic design. We each bring something new to the table, different concerns that the others might not think of before and I think that allows the projects to become more interesting. We're the ones that have this sort of strange vision and are able to see things big, but we also can fixate on the tiniest detail. And it's a really rare combination that, that I think designers inherently have, which makes them so valuable. Art Center is a place of incredibly ambitious people. And that kind of ambition to really push whatever you're doing to the, the highest level you find in our faculty, you find in our students. So we're looking for raw energy. If someone is driven by an idea, by the need to express, by the need to shed light on something that they feel is not being noticed, when they have this drive to do something, then Art Center is the right place.